Hi, I'm Colin. This is Colin's Comics Column, where I talk about comics, except this week I'm going to talk about Logan, which is a movie based on a comic book. Three Wolverine movies have taken place across like three different continuities, sort of. Uh, the point is that none of the continuity in any X-Men movies matter. Logan was really good in spite of that. Like, you don't need to have seen the other nine X-Men movies in order to go see Logan and understand what's going on and enjoy what's happening. You don't even really need to know who Professor X is. Like, if you do, it's cool and it helps, and it like kind of helps you understand his relationship to Wolverine, but this isn't a movie that relies heavily on continuity, which is good because I don't even know if it's in the same continuity as the other Wolverine movies because there doesn't seem to be any continuity across X-Men movies. Professor X died in X3, might have died again in Days of Future Past, but then things were reset. But I don't know how Professor X got to be in Days of Future Past at the beginning to begin with because he was dead in X3 and now he's here. So maybe it's better if you haven't seen other X-Men movies. Logan was actually, I think, one of the best if not the best X-Men franchise related movie to have come out. Um, it's like 90% violence, but there's a really strong uh, character-driven story. It takes a lot of like the kind of intensity of Deadpool, because Deadpool did so well, and translates it to uh, a different character in a way that I think is better than Deadpool. And they're different movies because Deadpool's a comedy, and Logan is definitely an action film first and isn't, like, they don't try to make it funny, they try to set a lot, a much more serious tone, but emotionally it hit me harder than any of the other X-Men movies, and so that's why I think I liked it the most. Alright, I am going to go play more Zelda now, because it's super great, so I'm going to go do that some more. <laughs>